<laughs> What's up, Suns fan? I can't even pretend to be a Cinder and stand in. I know. I, uh, you know, I got the, the I saw the sun signal. I woke up and uh, I came to the rescue, man. Cinderin, the the jack of all trades, the stand in, the caster, man of the hour. Vega Squadrons turn to ban. I pity their souls. So, Shannon, looking at this draft, you were disappointed. No Riki, no Pudge. I don't even see a damn centaur in here. Dire team ban. Oh. Okay, I missed that caveat to the disappointment. That would have been good. I don't know how Cinderin plays Pudge, so that could have been... Oh, good, good, even better. So, all right, I recognize some most of the names on Mama's Voice, except Dead Jocks, or I don't know who that is. Cole? I've, I've seen the name, yeah. He's stood in on many a team in my day, Suns fan. Good. Mega squadrons turn mm -hmm. to pick. Ooh. Dire team pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for us, for this tournament, it's it's all about seeding with the group stage. So there's no elimination on the line. You just have to fight your way through the lower bracket, which is well, easier said than done, I suppose. Ursa Warrior. Dire team pick. Dark Sia. Vegas probably turn to pick yeah I'll well, first pick Ursa is pretty exciting Ursa dark seer the opener for mama's boys it's when you see four stand-ins tagged up I feel like guessing the lanes is a little bit tricky I have no idea Yeah, I think CK, he's one of those scary picks in this mode where he can completely take over a game. I don't really see too much control. I'm surprised Death Prophet is still alive and well, kicking in the pool. Um, yeah. There's a Wraith King, but there's also... This is kind of a funky draft here. Life Stealer. Vega could try to use Life Stealer with the... Bat Rider, Nature's Prophet, you've got a couple of initiating types you can use the Infest Bombs with. That could be nice. <laughs> you know, so, yesterday, I drove up to New York to play in like a community LAN event, and Flosh was there, and she showed up with three Merlinis as part of her squad, so they invited me to, to be their fifth. And they nominated me to be the drafter. I don't know why they believed in me so much. And I figured out why shortly after, because one of them said, yeah, pick me troll for mid. I think that's going to win us this game. And then I understood completely. We did not play troll, by the way. I did first pick Dazzle in 50% of the games. Can be. I, I think troll is like the... He's that low-hanging fruit joke where he's not quite as bad as everybody thinks he is, but he's still pretty bad. <laughs> Oh god, so Death Prophet, and there you go, Wraith King Undying. So three Vegas of the heroes that we talked about, prominent in the pool. Mm-hmm, yeah, that'll be fun against Death Prophet, I'll tell ya. <laughs> Timber saw. And there you go, the Timbersaw. Vegas so, wow, well, this is an incredible Timbersaw game, actually. This is not strength, but he, he kind of dabbles in that area, so it's, it's good stuff. Uh, Actually, an incredible Timber Cell game. Warlock. This, uh, dude, this Vega lineup is dirty. They've got a lot of sustainability with the Soul Sucky Sucky and the uh, heal from the Warlock. Great initiation, huge damage, great team fight, good pushing as well. This Vega squad 
squadron lineup is great. As long as they don't get run over in like the first five, ten minutes in the laning phase, this should be a, a cakewalk of a mid game, Shannon. Cakewalk. Look out. All right, so. So. Su support Wraith King and support Undying? I guess it has to be. Support Wind Ranger? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a really funky draft for Mama Boys. I'm not going to lie. Um, I, you know, you took the words right out of my mouth. Get out of here, Meatloaf. Five Haven't you heard that remain. song? You took the words right out of my mouth. It must have been while you were kissing me. 80s? Come on, man. It's right in your age group. Oh, yeah. Actually, when that song was popular, you were probably still listening to music from the 70s. That that Prepare whole Middle Eastern time bubble with media thing. Rock, rock it out to the 60s, acting like it was the new shit. It's like in... Uh, What's that, that Euro trip movie when they meet the guy in Bratislava and he's just like, Miami Vice, yeah, new hot new show. Is this real? Oh my god. Alright. Well, Dyer have a ward down, so they get a little bit of intel. They see him moving this way. Mag's gonna see it. So slow, though. And they had to go for all these salves. They, and I, dude, Vegan, no. Vegan, no. There's something suspicious going on here. They're gonna die in the Roche pit. Oh my god, Shannon, it's gonna be a disaster. Posh is taking big damage off the side. Somehow, the MB team gets first blood. Roche, though, he's still doing work on the backside. Sucks. He'll die. They've already lost the Ursa. They might get a two for two, though. No one's on the run. He's going to the high ground. Cole is in the front lines, but the stacks are sticky. They're coming. Oh no, he got stuck in the trees. This is pure mayhem outside of the Roche pit. I think the monkey boys are gonna get cleaned up though. Cole, yeah, the sticky's just too much, dude. He's too slow. Run, little dark seer, run. Okay, so three, three for two. Cinder is still fighting back here. He's got six decay stacks. It's him versus the world right now, and they literally can't kill him. Although he's about to lose two of the stacks right here. If they go on, three more auto attacks. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna grab him. Dude, is he going to lose all these... Okay, he salves up. I thought he was going to lose another set of stacks, and then the Treants were just going to kill him when he's at 1 HP. I was waiting for it. Oh, my. Well. Action packed. Oh, okay. Let me toggle my microphone. Mine. Mine's working now. Oh, yeah. down bottom. Timber they can't chain. hit us, though. Cinder in, he's stuck in the trees. He's going to try to eat his way through. Battle of wits here. I can only yeah. imagine how much laughter there is in the Mama's Boys uh, voice comm right now. No, that, that whole team fight, I was just trying to resist the urge to not call them monkey business. You have infected me with that MB bullshit, Shannon. Dude, and now all I see is monkey business. Yeah, I mean... It's a much better name, too, right? I, well, it is, but I hadn't even thought of that connection until you brought it up, and now it's all I can see. Mama's Boys is throwing me for a loop. It's it's a tough life. I've it been really calling is. them Monkey Boys, so it's more of a hybrid, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Looks like Mag's going to have a good time in this offlane, though. Not really much that the Ursa can do to slow him down from farming. And I mean, just look at him. He's diving this Tier 1 tower. Not a care in the world. Two oh, stacks man. of Sticky. Three stacks of Sticky. Why not make it four <laughs> stacks of Sticky? There you go. He's just dead. I mean, I mean is, this, King, is this a kill? Is, is this even it? level two? Yeah, he's breaking. has no stun. <laughs> <laughs> he sells vampiric. Aura on King. Uh, yep, that's what that's happens the... when you go all in on on a Roche and it just fails miserably. Level one Roche, classic Wraith King, vampiric level one, four salves. You're not killing much with that. Uh, I wonder well, if there's a way that they could have actually killed Roche in time, but I mean, the only know, way they could have done that is if all five TP'd, probably. Yeah, the only way you get that is if Vega just goes all five for the top rune and stand there. I think that's well, the only way that it works. I think they could have killed it if all five TP'd. Like, they had two TP. It was a two-man Roche, level one. That takes forever, even yeah. with an Ursa. Yeah. 
But once you get everybody in the pit, at that point, you're just you're committed, and then they can kind of choke point you. But, you know, this Bat Rider, I was talking about him farming well. He had two kills and two assists already at the two-minute mark. He didn't That's die in that early skirmish, and he cleaned up. I mean, Sticky Napalm was just completely OP in that scenario. Yeah, hey, dude. Sox says level two, guys. He's got Wraith Fire Blast. Good to go. That's good. Well, I think Pie they're going to go for Roche again, by the way. And a Pycat's about to die in the mid lane. PP in from Solo. One more auto attack. They got it. That's a Ginger down. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. They're going for stacks of Ancients. And by stacks, I mean one camp this, of Ancients. The sharing is caring. I've got an aura. You've got Ferocious Claws. Let's kill these big lizards. I, I think they could actually kill Roche if they wanted. I mean... I mean, with enough time, they absolutely. The question of is it worth the time investment slash risk of Vega? To walk? I mean, they've got Triants. They can just keep scouting it out pretty easily. Yeah, that's true. He didn't do that though, for whatever reason. To be fair, the the three minute two hero Roche is probably not the most <laughs> common of strategies. Well, they're all missing, bro. You never know. I mean, true. Top lane is just an absolute disaster, but. Darkseer is back up here, so I guess Ursa can just pretty much stay in the jungle if he wishes. Has absolutely no lifesteal. Yeah, I mean, and at least the Darkseer if he's not careful. run away if the Bat Rider, you know, gets up on his business. But can't really stop the Bat from farming. Now down bottom, Pasha, stunned up. He's got a Timber Chain available. Enderin puts on the boxing gloves, laces him up. I mean, the main right. issue with this lineup, I obviously don't care about this match at all, which is fine. But... They just have lack of stuns, I think, against against heroes like Death Prophet. Ugh, it's gonna be dirty if yeah. this ever goes to mid game. They're just lacking on control in general. They don't have much in the way of stuns. They don't really have much in the way of slows either. Just their ability to catch and cure kills is is really lackluster. If you don't make it happen with a vacuum and hellfire blast, then not sure how you're finding kills. Well, the one bright side for Mama's boys is that Warlock is a support, which is just garbage. So. <laughs> Just garbage. That is such a small positive. Like, well, don't worry, guys. I mean, Warlock is a shitty support, yeah, so... It's something. Captain's draft game is over. Is he that bad of a support? He's got a big AoE slow. He's got he's, a little heal. He's horrible. You know, he's got a big ultimate. He's got right, a stun he, that goes through plays, BKB. If Give him something. The, well, yeah, if he ever gets to that point. If, okay, if he plays the four and gets, like, a Midas, it's fine. But... He's way too level dependent. Okay, so we've gone from he's a complete garbage to support to, <laughs> well, if he's on the four and gets a Midas, it could right, be... Wait. I what okay. position he's playing the five right now, so yeah, it's garbage. Yep. It's absolute yep, it's, garbage. It's five lock. But if they're going to snowball, then it doesn't really matter, obviously. Okay. By oh. getting the TP mid. Down bottom, Cinderin might be in trouble, too. Solo came in with the TP. Oh. Are they going to find him? Soul rip? Oh, daddy, that last auto attack. Solo nearly soloed him. How appropriate. Phase Boots, Nature's Prophet against the Brown Boots Undying. Not much Sin could do there. Yeah. Is Solo actually jungling? Is this what happening in this game? He's just kind of roaming. I mean, they're so far ahead now, he's kind of clearing the jungle. Oh, you guys want to fight? Let me TP in. Like, he's just all over the place, dude. He's got three kills already. All right, I'm going to look at... I never look at the net worth this early, but I feel like I need to. It's already 4,000 for Vega. <laughs> That's not a good sign. No, this is question is, is what can tough. what can monkey boys do to uh, get back in this game? Well, I guess Ursa getting a blink dagger, a little initiation power, that could be good. Um, but I don't, I mean, the Vega team fight is just scary. Maybe they'll find a pick off on Decima. They're starting to. Nope. Okay, he'll just walk. Well, in looking at Ursa, he has Iron Town, so he'll be able to jungle a little bit faster. But he still needs life steal. Ah, dude, he's, right point, now he's fourth mm. on net worth for the Dire, so it's gonna be a while before this bear really gets. That's scary. to support Ursa. Right it, it is a supporter, so it's it's a four or so. <laughs> I'm actually that okay. That's worse than than warlock <laughs> as a four. That's for sure. Yeah, I will make but, that bold statement. Oh no my! Cinder is just damage getting on chunked. Oh, I'm dying again. Oh man! Dude, it is. It's just not fair at this point. The level six timber saw does such a ridiculous amount of damage to the undying. Yeah. He's only has level one soul rip. That heal is real dinky. Well, that people so is sad. also completely ridiculous as well. I wonder if when we have a reload, the way to fix it is just to make a whole brand new lobby every time. But that is a big pain to reload everything. But yes. so, sorry, gang. Is that with the new patch, or has it always been this way that we know of? It seems to be recent. 
Oh, oh man, socks uh -oh. up. Uh oh, Wraith King. He's yeah. only level five. He doesn't have his second life. <laughs> and they're gonna. Take I don't him think apart. you would even level it in that case anyway. Probably <laughs> not. Top lane. We got Lasso used onto Cole on the dark seer. He's gonna gonna walk away for now. But Mag has the tranquil boots. Gonna pop him back into place. With got how many stacks is that? Four stacks. Got Teen three Apon. wand charges. Oh, he finds it with the ult from the Nature's Prophet. Very nice. Now back to mid lane. Piecat, the Soul Siphon, doing some work. Tombstone comes down. Shackle shot onto no one. They're trying to turn it around. He's OP. Piecat, he dies first. What He's is OP. this hero? What is this hero? Now <laughs> Ursa comes in. Is this going to be a triple kill? No. Okay. Ursa cleans it up. One for two. All right, well, uh, Ursa got a lot out of that, at least. That's the one silver lining again. That is a silver lining, that's true. He really Oh, they're gonna that. Roche! They're gonna Roche! Smoke into the Roche. Attempt number two, ladies and gentlemen. This is level six Ursa Dude. with no lifesteal, but that's why Wraith King is there. It's really Three ridiculous levels. about that exchange, though, with Death Prophet. She didn't even have her ultimate on. That is just Death Prophet with Trip Swarm, Spirit Siphon, just uh -oh. standing there right-clicking. That was this... her at, like, half of her current power. Trance gonna scout it out, I think. Oh, yep. it's coming in. There he goes. What are they going to do about it is the question. Pycat's going to clean that bad boy up, but here comes Sima, only level 5. He's going to get the upheaval, though. That's pretty dirty on the entire Roche team. Basically. He's not even at half health, though. Stun onto uh, Sima. Pasha no. just throwing in the chakrams. Warlock doesn't have the ultimate, but Mag, low on mana, lasso up in 10. He's just trying to lay down some fire. The Ursa's still committed to Roche. This is a risky play. Cole on the left side. Oh, beautiful Sprout. That'll lock him out. No one pops the ultimate. Exorcism will be here. They actually don't contest the Roche, though. It goes down to the dive. Ages to Ursa. He'll fall. He's coming back up, and now it looks like Vega are going to start to clean house. They put damage on the Pasha. He misses the Timber Chain, but now he's got a Chakra. They're just kiting this Ursa all day long. They can't get a single kill on Vega as they're cleaning house. Now Cinderin stacks a stick, starting to be deployed. He'll get chased down. Pie Cat, all the meanwhile, brought down by the Exorcism. It's going to be a five for one if you count the double death on the Ursa. Maybe even six. Now Sokka on the backside. He had the reincarnation. He's come back to life already. Oh, oh Sima just drops the rocks to make it sting that much more. That is a sick kill <laughs> exchange there, Mr. Sunspam. I absolutely cannot wait to get a post-game interview with Cinderin about this game. Very interested to see. I think he's just going to say hashtag disaster. <laughs> well, it's it's going to approach the 10K net worth lead at 10 minutes. I, yep. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, we saw it in Canada Cup for Captain's Draft a couple weeks ago. And it's yeah, every, every time you see it, you feel kind of bad for the, the people on the opposite end. All right, I think this is going to be a last ditch effort here. Yeah, dude, boys. The, the YOLO smoke. I mean, right now, just yeah. look at the boot difference. They only have one hero with upgraded boots. They're, they're still brown booting it. Look how slow this smoke is. Oh, it's Here gonna get go. popped. They're gonna see the poor Death Prophet's in a lot of trouble, and down she goes. That's one OP hero down. Okay. But look at Zima. Zima. <laughs> He's slow on literally five heroes. He can just TP out. They have no stuns unless the shackle connects. Oh, the oh, vacuum. The vacuum. All right, all right. That was close, though. He was about to make it. So that is a successful smoke gank. If I do say so. Yeah, they uh, didn't get to save the tower though. Still went down to the wrath of the warlock. Too much needed kills. That is about the same level of net worth swing, two for nil, as we saw Vega get six for nil just moments prior. So that speaks to how far behind the uh, Mama's boys are. Yeah, that was. I mean, they're gonna five man this, I think. I mean, they they just have a choice at this point. I think they have to five man. Undying always makes it a, a decent five man, but the rest of the lineup doesn't really synergize that well. Yeah, oh. he's got the tombstone. They might be able to find Pasha back here, but they don't want to tango in the trees, man. That pure damage hurts. Exorcism up in about five. They've got a tall window up here. Mag, though, he's going to get soloed on the backside. He'll be the first one to fall. No one trying to come in. The Ursa went in way too deep, though. He's going to get left behind, and now it's no one doing so much AoE damage. He's got the Exorcism. He's going to have another Crypt Swarm. He gets oh! the team here, but no, they got oh! damage. Bring him down first. Pasha comes in with big damage. Beautiful shackle from Bycat. <laughs> Somehow, some way, the Mama's boys are actually finding a victorious fight here. Can they get one more onto Nitrogen? If they find a shackle or a power shot, this Nitrogen! I said Nitrogen. His name is Solo, <laughs> damn it. Oh, he's sponsored I by Nitrogen. I wonder what that means. <laughs> he's soloed by an element. <laughs> Great sponsorship. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, okay. yeah. It's the energy drink. Right, that's, that's two 2.5k swings in a row for Mama's Boys, buddy. That's 5k. This is actually a side of life for this team. I'm not going to lie. There's, there's oh, some Vega hope just here. got way too overconfident, <laughs> for sure. I really saw that Death Prophet taking one more Crypt Swarm off <laughs> and just getting an ultra kill on their entire team at that point yeah. with a few more auto attacks. But they had the stuns, they had the crowd controls, and I'm proud of these guys. Yeah, they, I. 
legitimately they're back in the game to some degree. That's a lead in half at the very least. And, I mean, PyCat still has absolutely nothing. They're just going to go for another smoke, it seems. And they're not going to find anyone because Vega is top lane taking that tier one. I mean, looking at Timbersaw, though, who is third on net worth, getting close to a Bloodstone very early in this game. Yeah. And Mr. Nitrogen here, he's got his Maelstrom completed. <laughs> <laughs> That'll oh be God. some, some yeah. good split push. That'll be good. Yep. Well, they're just gonna five man themselves. I mean, if they have everything up, obviously Vega wins every fight because they have the be better team fight with. Yeah. Chaotic yeah, like offering exorcism Radiant and then Timbersaw just out of out of control right now. It's still okay for Monkey Boys though. I think trading tower for tower at this point, they'll take any gold and well, come. They're trading they tier one get. for tier two though. That's the issue. So I mean, we'll still, if you can't fight, just getting some income. I mean, Dark Seer is part way to a mech. He's got the buckler completed. That's an item that could actually make a big difference in these team fights. So, any progress they can make towards those, I think they're they're still in scary territory. He's got to stall, do anything they can to get some more items coming their way. They're starting to upgrade their boots, so you know, things are uh, things are moving. They didn't even have to pop Exorcism for this. It's going to be an absolutely free tier 2 tower. Yeah, you're right. Lane. Oh, mid lane in the meantime, Solo is taking his stun. I'm sorry, Nitrogen, that's correct. Dyer's Attempting to TP top out. Top. The oh. animation is horribly bugged, but he's going to get out regardless. Is that what that plant eating him was? That was the teleport? Okay. Well, right. it's, it was a little bit bugged because he got stunned, I guess. I don't know. That looked that weird. Was, that was a weird... Man, that graphic, that, that dabbles on the... Hmm. That hurts my immersion. I actually thought he was just standing there for a second. <laughs> You should keep up to date with cosmetics, bro. I know. Oh, I need to my Mag, cosmetic game. Soxa. He has his ultimate to work with, though. Go. Here comes the Chaotic Offering on three as well. Soxa does fall, but of course, we'll come back with that reincarnation tombstone. And actually, pretty good damn position for Cinder. And what a pickup for Mama's Boys, let me tell you. But Woo. Great Shackle will die no for one. free. Will do nothing. And now, they're in some trouble. The Rock just gets just by the Ursa, he digs those claws in deep, vacuum, no oh wall God, to speak of. So. The Soul Rift keeps the Tombstone alive a little bit longer, it finally falls. This Ursa is in deep no man's land. There's no saving him there, it's a twofer. Now the Yule's popped on the Pie Cat, Exorcism deployed, it's plenty of damage. The Wind Ranger falls again, is now Sindarin. He's trying to run, but the Sticky's already been stacked up, Suns fan. Sindarin! Sindarin! Run! Ah, he's dead. Ah, that's too bad. Well, that's a, a bummer of a team, but you know, at first I thought that Wraith King positioning was great. They deployed the uh, the rock for that, and he was really far forward. It gave his team that chance to kind of slow and reset, but then they just instantly killed him when he came back to life, and then it was just over. So, hey, that was bad for the that Wraith was King. The, oh, the MVP of that fight was the Tombstone, even though they lost the fight. That was Cole. Oh, Cole almost died. That was. That was scary. That was a pretty clutch play. He used the vacuum to knock down the trees on Sprout. Oh my god, I didn't even realize. Pasha had Bloodstone that whole fight, so he's got 13 charges now oh at god. 15 and a half minutes. That's pretty good, pretty good. What is this Timber Saw set, by the way? This thing is badass. I know we've talked about it, but I forget where it's from. Uh, I don't remember. It's, I mean, it's so just, cool. It's probably just in a chest or something. Okay. I like the monocle that he has on. It's like For he has the, uh, an top Ada hat lens. Timber Saw, you know? Yeah. I like yeah. this hairdo. It's like uh, it's like carrot top and go at a baby. I hate. Who likes carrot top? How is that a good thing? It just looks cool. I'm not saying his jokes are funny. I'm just saying he's got a cool vibe. If you mashed him you up with Goku is, and put his face on Timber. I've never actually met anybody that's like. Do you like carrot top? Uh, not not really. I mean, there's I've been a few never times met he's pulled out a prop, like and I've been like, oh, that's funny, but. It's kind of like SNL. I'd say 10% of the time it's funny, but that 90%, I can't wade through 90% shit to get to the funny parts, you know? I see. That's, yeah, but Vegas, dude. You don't have to be funny to get get work in Vegas. Oh, you Mama's just have to be reliable. Looking to take this tier one. And, oh got boy, they're a lot of trouble. Oh, no, they don't have a tombstone. Can they bring him down? Beautiful wall vacuum. They actually killed the bad rider. This is looking like a good fight for the, uh, the monkey business boys here. Baby Cole. <laughs> They're all so slow. This is a weird fight. I feel like oh. neither team really wants to fight. They lose their Dark Seer, but it's a one for two. Now Cinderin's stuck in the tree line. He stays alive. A big Soul Rip. He's going to start punching the Nitrogen Master, but oh, he's got a Maelstrom. He's ready to box. Kill the Undying. Now Soxa. He's in far. He's got no ultimate. In comes Pasha with the Chakram. And what looks like a good fight for the Monkey Boys ends up being a... Uh, I keep calling them Monkey Boys, dude. This is a disaster. They're going to lose their Ursa as well. They're completely cleaned up. I thought it was a good fight for him, but oh wait, there was a Bloodstone on the Timber Saw. He just came in, cleaned house, back up to 11 charges. He's got the Aether Lens. Oh boy, yeah. Ugh. All right, and the lead is actually, look at that. 
Okay, that was a four for two. I didn't realize Bad Rider died as well. That was an even fight. Mama's boys came yeah. out a little bit on top, actually. <laughs> And, and that's close to the dream, right? You start off that fight by catching their initiator. He doesn't use his ultimate. That is, that's like a golden ticket to winning a fight, and they still trade four for two. I think that speaks to how far behind uh, the Mama's boys are. Dark Seer is 100 gold off mech. I really think that item could could change the, the tide in some of these oh, fights. Oh, yeah. Well, Sima has his ult, though, so team fights will continue to go for Vega as long yeah. as he has that bad boy. And he Roshan's almost has gonna be up soon, too. That's going to be the double rock. I'm not the really double, a double rock. rock. Two golems. I guess you know refresher the, uh, is the double rock. The golems are less powerful rock. when you upgrade that, actually. Yeah, but they give less of a bounty, so. All about trade offs, right? I don't know. Is he a Libra? Yep, Time will yep, tell. Yep, 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 yep. My god. Wind Ranger, by the way. Worst reference ever, by the way. Hey, Libras, they're scales, right? Balance. I know because I'm a Libra. You would. Tier 2 Tower is going to be taken out. Let me get some. Vega you're again. a Gemini. You're I'm a Leo, bro. Dog. Leo. You're a Leo? Hey, my yeah. sister's a Leo. Uh oh. Uh-oh, Cinder in the rock comes down, an animal of rain on his parade, pretty dark and quick. Vega just going in deep here, no one pops the ultimate, soul sucky sucky onto the Ursa, and the bear just gets obliterated. Now Sasuke dies, he's got the reincarnation, he's coming back up, Ursa buys back, he's hungry, he's ready to fight. I feel like Sasuke, he just can't do anything in these fights, he comes back to life, they slow him, they kill him, Ursa... Really safe story, different chapter. He buys back, runs in, and just dies. This is gonna be right. a full five. Pretty sure this Man, is it, what? guys. Pretty sure they're gonna call it GG. Um, yeah, there are two two buybacks. <laughs> okay. That was a seven for two, and GG's called. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna weapon. ask Cinder if he can come in for a quick interview. <laughs> can quick you one. come Good. for a quick post-game interview? <laughs> oh, that game. That was brutal. Um, hey, it's better than a four. Well, hey, let's look at the positives here. Vega, really coming into form. You know, Nature's Prophet, Nitrogen. Great game, 9-0 and 13. That's what you look for when you see a Nature's Prophet. Three kills in the first two minutes. Not bad.